All right, it's been a bit since I've done one of these, but today we are taking on Nufi Bullet. You probably, if you go on Twitch, you probably know who he is. And um, yeah, that's, that's who we're going up against today. So my team has had some minor changes and unfortunately I, you know, only have five defense on the roster. So I had to pick up someone from, I guess you could say free agency because I did not have enough players to make a team. So I should have nobody scratched except for goalies, right? Yeah, so I have four goalies and that's why we're in this situation. So that's certainly not ideal, but either way, here is the Toronto Rockets lineup. So it's still a really solid team for sure. Offensively, we're looking good. Defensively, we are really good except for the free agent that we had to pick up. And then we've got Vazzy and Samsonov in net. So still... I think we still got a chance here, but overall-wise, I'm pretty sure Noofy's team was, like, five overall better, so that's a little scary. So if we have a look at Noof's team here, we've got Taylor Hall, Dreisaitl, and Shifley, Everly, Point, Barkov, Hints, we've got Lindholm and Yamamoto, Gord, Dubois, and Verhage, I think it's something like that. I've definitely heard it pronounced recently, but <laughs> that's my best effort, all right? And then defensively, pretty solid here as well. Hedman and Petrie. Which, by the way, he took by accident really early on in the draft, and it was, like, sort of a joke. I, I know that someone live-streamed it, and, yeah, it was, like, a big joke between all of us when he drafted Petrie. Because he's like, no! But it actually turned out to be one of the best picks in the draft. So, there it is. So, then Ristolainen, Morrissey, and Chitrin, and Martinez. And then in net, we've got Flurry with Jari. So, honestly, on paper, I'm going to give the advantage to the Newfoundland Hawks here, but... I don't know. We are undefeated so far, and the other teams were all better overall than us as well. So let's just see what happens. All right, let's take out Dallas here. Put in Mr. Newfie's team, so custom teams, and Newfoundland. There it is. All right, and I noticed that this UI is not lined up at all here, and that sort of really bugs me. So if uh, anyone from EA, for some reason, is watching this video... Tell your, like, user interface people to fix this, please. All right, there you have it. Let's start the playoffs, and let's see who will take home the victory this time. Game number one is underway. Let's put the simulation speed up to eight and see what we can do here. We weren't even getting a shot on our power play there. That was crazy, but Leo's going to capitalize for Noof, and we have a one nothing lead here, but that's going to be... Eliminated by Christopher Letang. It is now a 1-1 hockey game here. Five minutes to go in the first period. And it looks like we are heading to period number two with a score of 1-1. One one. So let's continue the simulation. And hopefully, Toronto will get another one here. Yes, they will. Kyle Connor with a big goal on Marcus Andrade Fleury. Here we go. Come on. Halfway through this game. And another huge goal. Timothy Jimothy is going to bury one. And we have ourselves a two-goal lead. The worst lead in hockey is about to prove itself, folks. Jordan Everly scores. Five minutes to go in the second. One goal lead now. No goal lead now. Drysdale is going to put another one home. And we are heading to period number three with a 3-3 hockey game. Come on, Toronto. Let's do it here. Nice. Vinny Trocek. I love that for you. 17 to go. Let's keep fighting here, boys. Keep fighting. We can't really play defensively just yet. Shots are... Basically even, halfway through the third now. Hello, goodbye. Completely stole my eyes off of the score. And Lindholm scores. But Ovechkin's gonna score! Let's go, Ovi! No, Martinez! What a back and forth matchup. This is... What's going on? What was that? Well, here is the three stars. If anyone is curious, a lot of goals happened there. Let's start game number two now. Simulate times eight. And let's see if Toronto can take a 2-0 series lead here. Shots are even early on in this one. We have another power play to start. And we're going to capitalize on this one. Actually, that wasn't even it was right after the power play, I guess. Brandon Rust. I just called him Brandon. I cannot believe I just said that. Well, that's a thing. I'm going to call him Brandon Rust from now on. <laughs> Definitely not Brian. No, couldn't be. Could not be Brian. Not on my watch, sir. You're not fooling me. Okay, one nothing. Come on, boys. Here we go. Here we go. Halfway through this game now. And we still have the one nothing lead. We are being outshot heavily now. So Vazzy is kind of standing on his head at the moment. Not kind of. He is absolutely... All right. Well, that was bound to happen. Oh, and then Ellis scores. All right. Well, then. 
I love that a lot. Here we go, third period, and it is now 2-2. Rista Linen is gonna score. Oh no, Yamamoto! 3-2 for the Hawks here. And we have 11 minutes to go. Come on, boys. Let's go here. Let's go. Toronto and Newfoundland. Head to head. Three minutes to go, Toronto. Are we gonna lose? It looks like we are. There it is. All right. We have a 1-1 series heading out east to Newfoundland. And I forgot to look at the three stars. Dang it. Game number three. We have ourselves... A bit of a slobber knocker here, folks. All right, let's go. Times eight, and let's just see what happens here. I don't even, really? Slobber knocker? I have no idea what that expression even means. I just remember they used to say it in WWE a lot, so that's, you know, kind of where that came from. But anyway, Lindholm going to score here. We are being doubled in shots currently, which not a big fan of that. But, I mean, we've been outshot in the past and made it work. So hopefully we can do that again here. Although, we are currently losing 2 nothing. They do have the worst lead in hockey, though. Great news for us. Let's see if we can actually... Okay, well, Barkov gonna completely erase the worst lead in hockey. Now it's three goals. We've pretty much lost at this point. Here goes period number three. They have a lot of shots, man. Holy crap. 33, and we have... Well, I guess we're actually getting some shots now. That's good to see, but man, holy. That's... This is just a high shooting game. I don't know. I don't even know how to say it. A lot of shots happening in this game there. That sounds better. All right. And there we have it. We've been shut out by Flower. That was bound to happen. Three stars. Here we go. Flurry, of course. Got Lindholm and Barkov. Okay. Well, we are now down two to one. All right. Here we go, folks. We are in dire need of a win here. I really don't want to be down 3-1. Super not ideal. So let's, you know, probably try to not do that. Dry sidle again. Gonna score on Vazzy, and that is not a good start here for the Toronto Rockets, but definitely comebackable, and Kyle Connor is going to prove that. Gets a goal here, and we have a 1-1 hockey game heading into period number two. Come on, guys. Let's tie this series up heading back to Toronto. We can do this. I know it. 1-1. We are about halfway, th and Jacob Chitrin's gonna score. All right. I don't know if it's Chitrin or Chikrin. But I've heard it pronounced both ways. I'm going to say Chitrin for now because there is, you know, a double CH there. So why would one be, you know, unless the H is silent? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this right now. Let's just move on and hope that we can score on a 5-on-3, which we can't. We don't deserve to win this game now. If you don't score on a 5-on-3, you deserve to lose. That is just a fact. And it looks like they're pretty much just handing us the game at this point they're like here tie it up please we want you to and then we score now great all right well our first overtime is now underway here and we are actually out shooting them for once this is unfamiliar territory for us oh who did it it was us let's go freaking captain america joe pavelski baby here are the three stars of that matchup vasilevsky definitely played outstanding kyle connor and pavelski as the other two stars we are heading to toronto with a 2-2 series here here we go the interesting thing about this series too is nobody has more than a point a game right now kyle connor is currently he was the on the front there anyway and he has four points in four games so i'm not sure there probably is somebody else with four points as well but no one has more than a point a game right now which is very very interesting another five on three that we couldn't capitalize on Newfie's team's really got to work on their discipline, however, because that could definitely come back to bite them. Okay, well, we have a 1-0 lead here after 1, and we are also doubling them in shots, but that doesn't matter because Rupe Hintz is going to score right now on Andre Vasilevsky from that angle too, but we've got Timo Meyer putting one in on Flurry, gave them a power play, and Rupe's going to score again. So halfway through this thing, we are locked at 2-2. And we are still kind of out shooting them, not as much as we were before, but it's still definitely in our favor. So here we go. Period number three. Period number three. We have ourselves an intense matchup here. Vinny Trocek and Perron. Let's go. Let's go. That is massive. 4-2. And the shots are definitely catching up here. Oh boy. Come on. Seven minutes to go. Another big goal from Obi. That's going to bury it. Oh, never mind. I spoke way too soon. Taylor Hall gets one back almost immediately. They give us a power play. Can't capitalize, but that's all she wrote. That's it. All right. We are heading to Newfoundland with the chance 
to end this series here. We are in the driver's seat. Dougie Hamilton with four apples. Holy crap, Dougie, relax. Ovi with two tucks and Perron with one apiece. So as you can see, Perron here is now at the top with five and five, or five in five, I should say. So yeah, still no one above a point of game here, but let's go ahead and simulate this one and see how we do. Times eight, will we be headed to a game seven back in Toronto or will we defeat Newfie Bullet and his fantasy team in six hockey games? Right now it is 1-1, halfway through the first period. Power plays are going for both sides right now. Hopefully that ref is not on a hot mic because he's clearly trying to balance this game. Ovechkin with another huge goal. And we have ourselves a nice lead here. 2-1 to one, going into period number two. Come on, boys. Hyman, you absolute beautician. He was like a waiver wire. Actually, no, he wasn't. He Was he? Yeah, I'm pretty sure someone drafted him, actually. And he was a waiver wire pickup. Incredible. Probably one of the better pickups I could have possibly gotten. And we have five minutes to go here in period number two. Dubois going to cut that lead down to one. And the shots are very equal here as well. This is going to be a wild third period. Come on, Toronto. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's win this thing. I'm pretty sure I'm undefeated so far. That could be entirely wrong, but I think I am. So let's, uh, let's see. No, Dreisaitl. Going to tie it up. 3-3. Three, three. Oh no, oh no. I don't like this at all. Five minutes to go. Will we see another overtime or is someone going to clutch it out here at the end? And another overtime. I'm not ready for this. I'm really not. All right, here we go. It's a 3-3 hockey game. Overtime is underway. We are one goal away from winning the series. And there it is. Joe Pavelski going to bury one pretty early on in overtime there. Well, I guess five minutes. And the Toronto Rockets are going to win this series. You love to see it. Dubois with the first star, Shifley second, and Ovi at number three. Wow. That was wild. And Dubois ended up with more than a point a game as the top player here. Well, I guess there could be someone else with seven points as well, but let's find out. Nope, there isn't. Dubois, seven points. He gets the Art Ross for this playoff series. Perron with six. Ovi, five. We got Dreisaitl, five. Kyle Connor has five, Pavelski five. All right, so I wonder if that defenseman guy I ended up picking up for free agency got any points. Nope, and he was a dash two. <laughs> he was a bit of an anchor, but still, it worked out. All right, yeah, Ryan Strom as well for us got one point. Wow, there's a lot of people that only got one point, actually. Petrie getting one point is a surprise. Rissalainen was a dash four. And there you have it. All right, let's have a look at the goalie stats. That first game definitely shifted the goalie stats quite a bit because a lot of goals happen but Vazzy is going to have a 910 save percentage and a 307 GAA. Fleury has an 896 and a 330 and Jari came in. I guess he only faced three shots, saved them all but yeah there you go. There's the goalie stats. All right well good game sir. I definitely think that was an intense matchup. Could have went either way. But I'm pretty sure we haven't had any blowouts yet in this little series thing that I'm doing. So if you haven't already, be sure to go check out Nufi Bullet on Twitch. I will put the link in the description. He's a great streamer. Great guy. Let me rephrase that. Great streamer. Better guy. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video.